we're here in the heart of Tanjung Paga. We're going to meet up with Amy, a transsexual woman, and ask her about her life so far. Yeah, I mean, I got to admit, I've never really sat down and had a conversation with someone like Amy, so I'm pretty interested to find out about her life. Okay, so we're here with Amy, a post-op transsexual woman who is a former model with Carrie Models, a former performer at Boom Boom Room, and now she's a full-time show coordinator, fashion coordinator. Hello! Hi! Oh my goodness, so plastic we are. <laughs> What's plastic about fashion industry is like that one, right? It's always. Okay, so Amy, you're a post-op transsexual woman, which means you've gone through an operation, the full works, and you're now legally a woman. I'm just wondering though, when do you start feeling different from the other boys? Uh, when I was about 8 years old and um, I started playing with girls' toys and stuff like that and when I go to school, I rather um, mix more with the girls rather than the boys and um, I find it more fun doing that than playing football and stuff like that. How old did you decide to change? Uh, when I was 21, uh, I decided to change but I already had my breast implant when I was 17 years old. Ooh, nice. I'm still waiting for mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Any advice you can give Ross? Shut you can up. call me, we can discuss about all the doctor's list I have. I mean, what kind of size you want and all this thing. I mean, yeah, I just need some size. <laughs> like, you know, it's kind of. <laughs> How do your parents react to it? Oh, my family, my girls are all uh, okay with me, except for my father. At first, he um, rejected it. And uh, I went. I still go for a section when I was 21. And when I come back home, I just tell him that you know I'm a female now and everything. And he was so shocked. You know, in Malay, he said, "Astaghfirullahalazim! Oh my goodness, what happened to my son?" That kind of thing. You know. Are you the only son? Yeah, I'm the only one. So now we have four girls instead of three. So when it comes to the actual operation, what actually happens? This was uh, 20 years ago again, and um, at that time Bangkok was uh, not so famous with all these lots of tourists so doctors also have a little bit of a communication breakdown with us so basically uh, we just go there and just tell them that um, doctor we want to go through sex chains and stuff like that but he never tell us what he's going to how he's going to perform the surgery because because he can't speak English that's part of it that's he scary can't, uh, you know? <laughs> And you still went through it. Yeah, we all still oh. went through it. You know, we just. But like, do they chop it off? No lah, they don't chop it off lah. What do you think? Go market chop a fish head. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is a lot of uh, procedure. But nowadays, it's, it's much more easier. You just go through the internet, and they will tell you uh, how. They will show you how they go through by method. So it's basically... and they will return it back to you, Are you after serious? you're dead, done. Yeah. So you don't feel like you're missing a piece. Do you still keep your? No, 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 no. For me, because that you know, this is uh, the identity that I want, and I don't want to keep it to remind me. You know. So you don't feel that Singapore is very restricting to you, your lifestyle? No, we're allowed to get married here. Okay. So, what so when are you going to propose to me? <laughs> and so, ma, so I told him one day I'll rape him. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> but luckily I'm born in Singapore. People are accepting like you. I don't know whether him or not. He got a bit of conscious inside his mind like, you know, never meet people like me before whatever. You know? We should go out drinking one night. Then I'll tell you about me. <laughs> cool. Where are we going to go? I'll bring another 10 more with me. Really? <laughs> Just me and the girls. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you can, you can this choose. This fella needs to be loosened up a bit. Yeah, yeah you can choose your spot. Orchard Tower, Geylang, Chengi. Wow. <laughs> Where would you go? Need some advice? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're the funniest when you're most awkward. <laughs> Even his mom said that. Sean, you're much more likable when you How are awkward. How old is he? 27. You can talk straight to me. Yeah? 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 The way you look at me, like, you know, it's like another tame dog looking at a cat, you know? <laughs> Just haven't hung out with many cats. Oh my goodness. Are you gay? Me? Yeah. What makes you say that? Maybe it's closet. <laughs> because he's like so defensive, right? You know how straight guys are. When they oh. get defensive, actually mommy's, closet. Mummy's boy, probably, yeah? Straight as an arrow. You never know, they got a lot of this fetish behind, you know? Huh? <laughs> you have stockings? <laughs> <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. <laughs> Alright, back on to Amy then. So how about that day when you were officially, legally a woman? How did it feel? 
Oh, I feel so happy. <laughs> In my community, after you went for sex change, uh, you have to prove, you know, so because we show. don't believe. Oh my yeah, God. because they say, oh, uh, show us like, what you've got. So we all go, okay, 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 come, you follow me. So we probably go toilets or somewhere else and we just... Eh. <laughs> Ta-da! I like that! Yeah. So if you could go back to being a teenager, would you live your life differently? I'm very happy with what I am right now. But sometimes I just think, you know, sometimes when you're lying down, you're just thinking, um, why didn't I was, why didn't I was born in a normal way? As a normal girl. Yeah. Or boy. Or whatever. I mean, even this uh, uh, spastic people, you know, they got no legs and stuff, they were also thought like what I'm thinking. Why wasn't I born with a proper legs or proper hand? But I still have to be strong with what I'm facing in the world right now. I'm not gonna I'm not going to hide myself. So through your 20s, you were a model? Yeah. So you were doing the modeling even before the operation. So you were going to the castings as a woman, dressed as a woman. Were you ever caught? No. You still can hide. <laughs> dressed as... You can still tuck it in or whatever, you know. <laughs> I like that. Do you have to use any kind of glue to tuck it in? No! We use them. <laughs> Please describe this because I would like to see Shan try it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want, I can help you. You can just yes. put it behind and put a masking tape on it. Uh. Masking tape? Yeah. You know that kind of elastoplast plaster? Yes. So they use that <laughs> to tuck it behind. They buy the thick one, you know? Mm -hmm. So they plaster and everything, make it look very natural. Something to consider if you want to put like a Borat swimsuit But on. it's a joke when you want to remove it, you know? You can't peel it off straight so, away. So how? You have to soak it? Soak it, put olive oil and stuff oh. like that. <laughs> and this stuff, they go, ah! <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're it's welcome. very enlightening. You can catch more episodes of us on clicknetwork.tv or on radio 4 to 8 p.m. on 987 FM, Monday to Fridays. <laughs>